In this video, we're going to learn how to transform data to go from non-linear to linear data so we can analyze it. So the first thing that we need to do is make sure we have our data entered into our calculator. And we've done that here on the CAS. We need to work out what is my explanatory variable and what is my response variable. In this particular question, the human development index or HDI, that is my explanatory variable. And the kids or children, as the question states, is my response variable. So once I've put in my data, the next step is to insert a data and statistics page. To do that, one of the ways is to press control and then the letter I. We want to enter a data and statistics page. At the bottom, we have to select our explanatory variable. In our case, it is HDI. And on the Y axis, we need to choose our response variable. In my case, I've called it kids. Now, as you can see, our data at the moment is not linear. It has a curve to it. And if we were to align it to our wheel of transformation, we would have four options to linearize our data. We would apply, or we could apply a log X transformation, a log Y transformation, or the reciprocal transformations, one over Y or one over X. In this particular question, we are going to apply the log Y transformation, which means we need to find or transform the kids variables. All of the kids numbers, we have to find the log value for it. So in column H, the next column along for me here, I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call it uh, L underscore kids because I know that I'm finding the log of children or log of kids. And in the second row here, in my function row, I'm going to tell the CAS to find the log of every value in the kids column. So I'm going to press equals. Then I'm going to insert the log function, control and log, always base of 10. And in the big brackets here, I type the name of my column. In my case, I called it kids. Now you'll notice that when I finish typing the word in, the word goes in bold, which basically means that the CAS knows what you're talking about. It knows what the variable is. If I just delete the letter S, you can see that the word is not in bold. It is in italics, telling us the CAS has no idea what we're trying to get it to do. Once I've typed in the function, I press enter and you can see that the CAS has worked out for me the log value of each of those kids numbers. So the log of 4.9 is 0 0.6901 and so on. Now I can go back into my scatter plot and I can change the Y var variable or the response variable to be my log of kids numbers. And you can see that the data has now become much more linear. It's gone from a curved scatter plot into a much more linear graph. Something to keep in mind is that you can only apply one transformation at a time. So if I have applied the log of Y transformation, I can't go back and apply, for example, an X squared transformation. I can only have one transformation at a time on my scatter plot. Now, when you have more than one transformation available, you'll need to work out which one is the best transformation out of the three or four options. To do that, you have to find the highest R value or the highest Pearson correlation value. The final thing that we're going to do on this scatter plot is get the CAS to, to give us the regression line or the least squares regression line. To do that, we're going to go into menu, analyze, regression, and show linear, the A plus BX option. And now you can see that on our screen, we have that least squares regression line, as well as the equation for the least squares regression line. A couple of things to, to keep in mind with this regression line. You'll notice that the CAS has both plus and minus, positive and negative. Together, they make a negative and it makes sense because this has a negative direction. The other thing to remember is that the CAS does not show you that this is transformed data. So in this equation, the CAS doesn't know that this has been transformed. We know because we have put the log of kids data on the response variable on the Y axis. So we also have to include that information at the front of our equation. If we perform a log Y transformation, we have to show that we have performed that log Y by simply writing it in when we write it down. The other thing to do with this is change the X and the Y variables to use the actual words from the question. So we would have children or kids and HDI instead of X. That way, when we use this equation to make predictions in the future, it's easier for us to know what we are solving for. And of course, when we are making predictions, we have to use the transformed equation, which is the one with the log of Y at the front. And that's it. That's how we transform our data, put it on our scatter plot and get the least squares regression line.